In this video, we take a look at a new VR fitness accessory from Kiwi Design that could well be game changing. Ah, it's tiring. It's so tiring. Jelly. Hello and welcome back to the VR Cauldron for your slice of VR and cool technology. If that's the kind of thing you like, don't forget to subscribe. So we've got a new fitness accessory, and of course VR is brilliant for fitness. But talking of fitness, we've got a new giveaway from VR Cover. Now this is the ultimate fitness combination in terms of facial interface. The thing that goes against your head. The Oculus or Meta Quest comes with a nasty, scratchy, spongy interface. This is the best one, in my opinion, that you can get. This is the fitness interface from VR Cover coupled with the Cool XG phone. Together, it comes to about 50 to 60 pounds or dollars, so it's a, a good combination, Co costs quite a bit, um, and you can win it. So, if you wanna win this, all you need to do is keep watching the video, like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and then later on during the video, I'm gonna tell you what to do. And then you do that, it's probably gonna be some sort of comment left below, and maybe you'll be in with a chance of winning Two lucky winners can get the two things, fitness interface and cool XG foam. If you want to find out more about these things, check out the video linked below. So let's get right into it then. What have we got from Kiwi? Well, one problem, slight problem that VR has when it comes to exercise is that generally VR exercise revolves around cardio, not lifting weights and stuff like that, but Kiwi design aim to fix that with these and it's a really quick unboxing basically loads of little weights like that we're gonna see how it works so it's called the vr dumbbell sorry you're quite far away we'll get some uh, close-up shots soon turn over the controller let's grab a controller so here's a controller currently with the uh, pro grips and the kiwi design halo protector so i'll see if it works with all this stuff on so I've just pushed that inside this controller. It's currently got the, that, whoa, that went good. It's got little weights inside. Hmm. Basically there's different combinations. There's these, okay. And three of these is worth 150 grams. Two of these then is worth 100 grams. Quick maths, one of these, 50 grams. These are spacers which have zero weight. Obviously they have weight, but it's negligible, very, very light. So I guess at any time there's gotta be three things inside here. That does not go in there. Mate. They have gotta go in here. That's where I got it from, that's where it all fell out. Yeah? And then that's gonna go in here and fit nicely on top. Like that, that fits really well. And then you're gonna screw this on and that's gonna keep the weights. Right, this all fits really, really nicely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one without the controller, so without the uh, halo protector. So there we go, that's in there. Wow, that adds surprisingly a lot of weight. And because it's screwed in, it's not gonna just fling off. I suppose it could if you accidentally unscrewed it or it came out loose over time and you forgot about it. But that, I can see why, because you know, 150 grams isn't a lot of weight, and obviously people would be like, "That's nothing. You can't, you can't do, you can't do 150 gram bicep curls." But it's more about the way I see it is if you're playing Beat Saber or you're doing boxing with this, this extra little bit of weight over time is going to add that little bit more resistance or something or other. I mean, I'm not going to do any like calorie testing, but it's obviously going to make a difference. You could get wrist weights, obviously, you could do that, but that's a lot cooler. Anyway, let's see if it works with the, uh, ugh, with the halo protector on, because I really, I really don't want to be boxing without a halo protector. We've seen what happens before. And then, have we got a problem? Okay, we have a, a bit of an issue that the screw isn't getting all the way through because the halo protector doesn't get, let it go all the way down. So, it looks like it does not work with the Kiwi halo protector. If you look, the screw that you need to screw get past the weight. 
That is cool. That, not so much. Because that'll probably, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's gonna flop off. So this is strictly no halo protecting stuff. Right, okay, so I'm gonna test this out and I'm gonna get back to you and see how it is if I've got spaghetti arms later when I'm back. See you in a bit. Whoa, feels weird, man. So far, it is just heavy version. Oh, I'm gonna hit my stuff, aren't I? Because I'm so close to it. It's, yeah, God, it's, it's, you feel the difference? Just so hard, nothing overly exertion, but I like to ex exertion. Oh, God! And I've got no halo protectors on! And I like to move my arms a lot. Almost kind of dance, but I'm just scared though. I've got a mark. I've got a bloody black mark on it. It's really swingy, it's really swingy. It's not exactly weightlifting, but it definitely, you can tell you're gonna burn a few more calories using it like this. Let's see this mark I've got. Ah, oh, blummy neck, look at that, look at that. I mean, I've always got halo protectors on these blooming things. I have to take them off for one thing, I'll smash it. Let's see how the weight affects the up and downness of it. Oh, I forgot which one was. Okay. Come on, muscle memory. Don't lose it. Woo. One thing I notice is that it wants to pull the grips off. This is definitely tiring. Ow! Well, I don't even know what I'm doing there. I'm just going along with but whatever my head says. Ah. Did I miss it? No, no, I didn't. One, one thing I'm noticing is that I kind of want to push my thumb a bit more further off than that and I can't because that's stopping me. Also, I quite often grab one controller around the ring and I can't do it like that. But, you know, it's just uh, it's a bit of something I've got to get used to. Think, right, continue. Weighty hands. Oh, you big you are. I forgot how big you were. Oh, do you know what? I wonder if... Doing boxing's like bad for you because it'll fling your arm, your um, your joints out of place. Come on, dude, dude, you know, is it because I've got heavy gloves and you hurt? It's hurting you more. Get away from my keyboard, man! I don't want to hit my keyboard. Oh, oh man! How did that be out? Hey. Oh. Ah, it's tiring. It's so tiring. Jelly. By the way, although I'm not using them, I highly recommend you use the tie cords because there's a more bigger chance of you flinging up the controllers away there. They're very good for the box. It's the only thing I'd worry is if you do like a bad jab like I do and extend, totally extend your arm, the weights are gonna pull you a bit more. So I'd suggest you can use it for boxing, it's good, but just maybe don't do what I do and you know, learn how to box properly. Don't do swingy stuff. But beat saber, yeah, cool. Before we carry on, really quickly, in order to win the fitness interface from VR Cover with the Cool XG gel, which cools you down as you put it on, it's really good stuff. All you have to do is in the comments say, tell me how you use VR to keep fit, or how you would if you don't already. Um, so back to this then. Oh, we'll announce the winner in not the next video, but the next VR video. Okay, we've got a tech video coming up this weekend about a cool e bike. Well, there'll be another, probably be another giveaway in that, by the way, because there's always a giveaway in the uh, tech videos. We'll have the winners of this two videos from now. Winners from this revealed. So, these Kiwi weights, links for them below, by the way. Um, pros, it works 
Like, even though it's only 150 grams, you can definitely feel the difference when you pick them up, but also when you're doing beat saber or when you're doing boxing, 100% feel the difference. Definitely adds a bit of another dimension to your workout and it will make it that bit harder, which is what many people might feel they need. Um, cons, you can't use the halo protectors and I've now bashed that one on my keyboard. So that's annoying. It'll probably come out, for sure. But still, I, I, I want to be able to protect my controllers. Um, I did, I think I said this, I said in the video, I like st sticking my thumb through the end sometimes, just a bit more freedom. There's not quite as much freedom. You can still get to everything. But the, the, the turny thing is, I think, a tiny bit close to the, the joystick. So if you were to use the joystick, it's not exactly ideal. However, Games where you're using the joystick, you're not tend to get, you won't be using this, so it's not really a big issue. But um, I still like to have a bit more freedom with my thumbs. Uh, another thing I did kind of notice that the extra weight, as I was swinging around on beat saber, it kind of wants to pull pull outwards, as you'd expect, which kind of wants the controller to pull out the pro grips if you're using pro grips. Um, it isn't, and it's fine. It just feels a bit weird when it starts doing it. So it's just something to think about. Um, I would definitely recommend using these because obviously it's more likely to want to fling out with the extra weight. So overall, I quite like them. They look really sleek, which is nice. I would say that the $62, which at $62 is a bit expensive. Um, if you can get a 30% off in a sale, that would bring it down by what, 18, about 20 pounds, about 40, make it about $40. You can still get wrist waist weights for less, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna say you need these because you can get your own wrist weights and undoubtedly they will be cheaper. They might feel a bit more annoying because you've actually got them on your hands. However, you will still be able to use halo protectors if you use those. But you might just want these just because they kind of look cool. Makes them look like different controllers, which is nice. I leave it up to you. It's not a product I say go out and buy. You, need, you don't need to go out and buy it now, but it is cool. So if you like, if you like the kind of thing, you like the look of it, definitely go for it. Like I say, there's a link below. It is an affiliate link, so it does help the channel if you use it. So thanks to anyone who does. But that's that for that. Um, we'll be coming back soon with a tech video. After that, we've got I've got loads of accessories, new accessories upstairs. I'll be trying out all on one video before Christmas. If I don't see you before Christmas, have a great Christmas. Um, if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, don't forget to hit the like button. And thank you very much for making it this far. And take care. Hope to see you next time. I'm really quite tired. See ya. Don't hang up the phone,